Hey everybody, Steve Chase here. I'm going to share with you a video how to use the if function and the x lookup function at the same time. The scenario we've got here is we want to return the sizes off of these SKUs. The only problem is that we have two companies. So if you look at company eight, some of the SKUs are on this table here. And they kind of have a format of numbers and then you can see SMLs in the middle here for small, medium, larges in there. And on the company seven, we have these SKUs here. And the difference is that some SKUs are seven characters and some SKUs are eight characters. Okay. So let's just do a quick test here. I'm just going to type SKU length. Now, the way we can find that is LEN simple function len this is going to give us seven characters here we copy it down with double click there are our SKUs there okay okay a couple of prerequisites here is i've created two tables so you can see this is table company seven is what i've named this and let's see that these are all seven characters here for the lang here and if you look at company eight, same thing. Company eight's the table name. The length of the SKU here is eight. They're all eight here. Okay. So awesome. Okay. The next thing I want to do is I want to share with you what the if function does. Okay. So let's just do a, a we're going to build this out here. It's nice to do it in small steps here. So if I go to formulas, click on logical if. Okay. Here, my logical test basically is going to be, I want to determine if that skew there is seven characters. Okay, so I'll just type equals uh, len, or sorry, len, opening parentheses, cell C7. So if that equals seven, if that's true, what do I want the company to say? We'll say, um, I'll just say get lookup on company seven table. Okay, and if it's false, let's just go with what the len is. Len C7, okay, and we'll hit okay. All right, how are we looking here? Not bad, okay. All right, we can do this. Okay, so now that we've identified the logical if function, now what we would do basically is we would go back in here and we would replace this with xlookup. And I'm going to teach us that next, how to use an XLOOKUP to go after and grab. We want to return you know, the sizes here. OK. Awesome. So let me just go over here and just begin to write going to the logical test here. It is a lookup and reference. You got XLOOKUP here. If you don't have a newer version of Excel, then you're going to need to use the VLOOKUP. And I've got lots of videos on that in my YouTube channel, so you can check those out. So I'm going to click X lookup. All right, so what is our value that we're looking up? We're going to be looking up the SKU. Where is our lookup array going to be? Well, in this case, I'm going to be looking up company seven. The array would be the SKUs here. So this is dynamic. Having a table is dynamic, so if we add more SKUs to that, it'd be great. It would pick it up. And then my return array is going to be uh, the size. Okay. If not found, I can just say not found, <laughs> you know, or maybe check um, table because there could be something wrong there. And then my match mode is going to look up defaults to an exact match. So we're fine leaving that alone here. Okay. Okay. So 
I've got medium here. I'll copy it down. And you can see that we've got an issue here of the ones that obviously it couldn't find because they're, it's not in there. So, okay. So this is awesome here. So what we would do is we would go in and we would copy this right here. This whole X lookup, I'm just going to copy that. So basically all of that right there. Okay. And now, um, now that I've copied it, I'm going to put it in this function here. Let me go back here. And I need to put it all in here. Okay, so that's next over here. Delete that. Control V to paste. Then OK. Then I'm going to copy that down. And we're getting somewhere here. <laughs> this is awesome. Okay. Now all we need to do is we need to create another X lookup, but use the company 8 data for that here. So let me go in and just do a little equals X lookup. Our value is going to be the skew. The lookup is going to be company 8 skew, comma. Um, you can see this is where I'm at right here. I'll just click this FX so we can see where I'm at here. The return array will be the size. Okay. And if not found, I'll just say not found. Then OK. All right. Copy that down. Copy it. Up. That's good. Same process. I'm going to need to copy that. Go escape. Go back into the original one here. Here's my if function. And so now I just need to put the other x function in here. Awesome. Then OK. Copy that down here. Hmm. So something's wrong here. Not found. Well, it's very possible that it's not found. It might not have been used. That's a good question. Um, so that one here, I'm going to copy that. First, I want to just verify that we're... Oh, okay. Something. Okay, I see what happened here. Shoot, I copied this, and I should have copied the one up here. Dang it. Okay, so I'm gonna do it again because I got off track. So I need to come here, copy that. It's important that we stay on the same row when we do the original one here. Here's my if function. All right. So. That's really the problem right there. It got off on the third row. So if I all I need to do really is just change that to look up C2. And now we have equal balances weights here. Then I'll just copy that down. There we go. Awesome. Okay, th this is a long video, but I hope uh, you're able to pause it. And this is helpful for you to think logically. Ultimately, this is the function here. It's basically an if function with two X lookups in the middle there. And I find that to be pretty darn cool. Again, what it's doing here is it's looking up C2. Okay. And it will go to one of the perspective tables to look up that data set for the size there. Awesome. All right. So as you can see, my model is break up if functions into smaller parts, build them out if you're new to it, you know, have these helper columns. Once you're done with the helper columns, then it's safe to delete those and uh, then carry forward on that. So what else could we do? Uh, we could, you know, keep going and we could grab the price. And if you wanted to do the price and all that, essentially, you would simply 
take all of that right there, control C, come over here and paste it. But to get the price, then we would have to look at the actual look up here and so so here's size and here's size so if we look at our tables we'll see price and price so that's all we would need to do is come in here and change that to price yes that's that and then over here on the side we need to change that to size to price Get a little help there. All right, it's control shift four for shortcut key for dollar amounts. There's our prices there. So let's just do a quick check. Is it $94 for this SKU here? Let's take a look, copy that. Control F, control V, find next. And it is 94 bucks here. Whew. Okay, that was fun. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you on the next video. Keep working in Excel. Make mistakes. That's how you learn how to do better with Excel. And learn from your mistakes so you don't make them again. You guys have a good day.